another good friend, Sanji, who puts his, uh, what do you call it? GoPro. GoPro right here, and I knew he was a filmmaker, but no, he's not a filmmaker, he's an adventure kind of guy. Sanji, what do you do? Uh, I do an adventure every year to promote a social cause. Uh, from 2019, every year I'm doing an adventure for a social cause. So every other year you're prepared to have something to do? Yeah, so, some, some sort of ad new adventure. Uh, around that adventure, I, 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 I do some sort of social work. Kind of. So in 2019 when you began, what exactly did you do? Okay, in 2019, Easter bomb blast happened in Sri Lanka. Um, one terrorist group uh, bombed six different churches and hotels in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is a country which uh, is depending on tourism industry. Uh, then everyone starts stating, okay, Sri Lanka is not a safer place to live, da da da. Oh. Then during that time, I completed my high school. I felt... Uh, Okay, I have four months free time. Let's do something for the country. Then I got this crazy idea. If I walk across the country without any protection, then I could say Sri Lanka is a safe place to live. Then I put my backpack and I asked one of my friends, "Would you like to join?" Then we walked across the country. That was my first adventure. And how long did it take you to walk across the whole country? Yeah, from the north point to the south point, 566 kilometers. Uh, we did it in 12 days. 12 days yeah and what was all this adventure like did he just is it like you've always yearned to do this or it was because uh, the bomb happened and you just decided like let me do this yeah like after, after the bomb last only i decided before that i was i was, I was while i was studying in school like my parents gave me freedom that's why i was exploring different stuff uh you know i was in scouts and i was doing some sports you know? uh, i was doing something but this adventure thing got started after this bomb blast thing yeah so after the bomb blast how many have you done so far uh up to now i have done five adventures okay can you run us through uh yeah the next day i climbed mount elbrus the highest mountain of european continent and uh, yeah, I was doing that to raise awareness for climate change and the next year I swam across the river in my region. Um, in, in our region, like there is a bridge called Caledy Bridge. Most of the people commit suicide on the bridge and in our region, like we don't speak that much about mental health. We give priority to physical health, we are not speaking about mental health. Then I felt, okay, something uh, should happen around mental health then if i'm if i'm doing awareness for mental health no one is going to listen to me then i'm going to swim across the river yeah, across that bridge then i'm going to speak about it that's the third adventure of mine then the fourth adventure i i i ridden bicycle around my country sri lanka is an island nation and i was i was doing that to promote marine conservation and we were uh, stopping in different spots and uh, we were uh, like we were educating school children kind wow. of. and now you're going to mountain Kilimanjaro yeah like I'm, I'm going to climb Kilimanjaro uh, from 2018 I, I met a I met a mountaineer uh, called Anish and I got the inspiration from her from him sorry uh, then I set up the dream to do seven summits. Seven summits is climbing the highest mountain of each seven continents. Uh, then, okay, now I, I felt okay. Let's let's start from this year, one mountain continuously for seven years. And uh, okay, what social course I'm going to promote? Then I was thinking okay I, I i just want to combine a social course i don't want to do separate things then combining something then i felt okay let's let's talk about sustainability and sustainable development goals and for certain years for certain year i can choose certain sustainable development goals and i can talk about those sustainable development goals for the year and do some impactful work around that thing uh, then I felt okay. Let's let's fix the social course and let's fix the mountain. And let's do it. And I'm here talking to you. <laughs> so yeah. how prepared are you? And how long do you think it's gonna take you to do the mountain Kilimanjaro? Okay, to reach Mount Kilimanjaro, there are different routes: uh, Marango, Machame, Lemosha, kind of. I'm ch uh, I have chosen the Lemosha route. It will take eight days to reach the summit. 
So do you just do this thing for your own personal interest or you have somebody sponsoring you to just go do this? Uh, this, this mountain I'm, I'm sponsoring myself, you know, I, I, you know like I, I wrote emails to many people but none of them showed up then, but I just want to do it for myself. Uh, yeah. I, I was I was doubting myself. You know, these these mountains and everything are expensive. I'm I'm a student who moved from Sri Lanka to Germany, and I'm looking after myself. And you know, a struggle, a lot of struggles are there. But what pushes me is uh, first thing I would say, I'm the the learning I'm getting throughout the process. That's something beautiful. The second thing, the people around me are learning something. From me, for example, uh, last year I climbed top 10 mountains in Sri Lanka to promote gender equality. From that day, my grandma doesn't know about transgender. You know? Oh, so it was an education it's, for her. It's, it's an education for her. It's it's small thing. I didn't expect anything. It's it's not my intention. But somehow, like I'm making an influence the people around me. That that keeps me going, and also like I feel some people in my region, the younger generation, you know, they they are doing what they really wanted to do, and they they send messages. Okay, brother, like I spoke to my mother to become a cinematographer. Like I I showed you as an example. Somehow, like I'm I'm creating an impact of, uh, in the society in a positive manner. I felt, yeah. That's, that's the reason why I'm, why I'm doing all these things and the struggles are there brother to, for this adventure. You know, I should prepare myself physically, mentally, financially, everything is there. But still, the I'm, I'm, I'm really um, um, amazed or inspired to have somebody like a young man like you who wants to go out there and create this impact with a sort of adventure attached to it. At the end of all this, what do you hope to achieve? It's a good question. I feel the life is full of exploring the happiness, I would say. Like we are we are running behind the happiness, like just just behind that line. And I feel like doing these things makes me happy and everyone will be having their own happiness and own purpose in their life and I hope everyone will you know get get that thing and yeah just I'm I'm just exploring life and I'm, I'm in my 20s and yeah yeah uh, nothing much to say like be, be happy and, and share impact that love society yeah and making sure that you're bringing change I think you're doing a great job and I wish you all the best. And Thank you so much. Uh, go and climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Yeah. And I hope that we get to meet once again. For sure. Who knows, somewhere in the world. Right? Somewhere in the world, <laughs> in, in a random airport. <laughs> yes. You know, doing yes. some interviews. Uh, uh, thank you so much for, for making this interview with me. Like I said, enjoy yeah. yourself and enjoy your journey. Thank you, man. Beautiful this work. is so random. <laughs> Love